Thanks, Christina. All right, a group of local students are putting aside their own priorities for the community. And we're joined now by UTTV's reporter Claudette Rogers with today's Making a Difference story. Good morning, Claudette. Good morning, Amber. I have a really exciting story to share with you today about a group of kids. I mean, it's hard to imagine why a group of high school students would be so invested in a project that involves stacking cans. But for future engineers and architects of Kearney High School, constructing a single roll of cans allows them to give back to their San Diego community, escape realities, and build something that ex expands far beyond an aluminum masterpiece. Take a look. Oh. Here, I got this. I got this. Oh. I've been teaching for 13 years, and there's this right, deeply ingrained culture of I can't, which really always bothers me. And so when you expose them to a project like this, it becomes I can. I can raise money to help others. This is our message. We are the new face of America, and these are the three words colored in red. We want you to end hunger. <laughs> Kearney High School's construction club refuses to cut back, at least when it comes to the annual construction competition. The one thing that we had going for us is that this is dual purpose. They are donating to a school so that students can have the materials to do an amazing project, but they're also giving back to the community because all of the canned food is donated to local food banks. But getting the cans in the first place is the dilemma. Um, we were never able to use taxpayer money for a project like this anyhow. Generally it goes to paying teachers and materials for the school and just running the school in general. Fundraisers are terrible. Nobody wants to pay more than they know something's worth for like candy and stuff. But we made it happen. Pulling through has meant financial sacrifices at the cost of creativity. We had to look for cans that had that color and that's the worst part because so much color is on each can to make them jump out at people. The cans are turned certain ways so that we can get the most blue out of each can, the most white. It's a lot of pressure on the kids and it stems from home life. I mean, I have one student who goes home and she takes care of a niece and then she, you know, picks up her other kids from, from daycare, her other siblings, and brings them home and cooks them dinner. So by the time she's actually able to sit down is when all the other children are in bed. So it's 9 o'clock before she can start her, educa her education. So coming from those kind of backgrounds, of course your education is going to take a back seat at times. Some may just see this as a school project, but take a closer look at the construction club and you may just see a glimpse of something else that's building. On May 16th through the 20th, Kearney High School will compete with schools from all over San Diego at the 9th Annual Construction Competition. It's being held at Westfield Horton Plaza, and that winner will then submit the picture of their creation and compete at the national level. All cans will then be donated to local food banks. I love this story. <laughs> Um, one, because when I think back when I was in high school, I was so selfish. Like, I would never have thought of giving back uh, when you're a teenager, you know what I mean? You just think about other things. This is really cool. I mean, Amber, when I met these kids, they were so inspiring. And it's crazy when you actually think about it because they raise this money by themselves. Right. And the teacher's actually telling me that they'll come up with, with these creations that would cost $9,000 and then have to back it up all the way to three grand. Oh my and the God. kids get so despondent about when they were talking about fundraiser. They said, we would do jogathons. Uh, we would then uh, submit letters. And like that one student said, you know, one candy bar no one wants to pay much for because that's what they value, you know, candy at. Right. So, you know, these kids are just incredibly, incredibly inspiring. I like it. So, what are some of the creations did you see? Because I'm... Right. So the competition is going to be happening May 16th through the 20th, so it's coming up. But Amber, what's been so crazy is what they have created. I mean, they've created things as crazy as the Titanic ship. They wow. did one with SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I mean, these kids get really creative. And what they'll do is they'll actually get, you know, um, they'll get really savvy and use the cans that they have, turn it around, and then use those colors, even though it may be a, a red can. There may be a little bit of yellow, and then they'll turn right. it. I mean, the amount of architecture and the amount of strategic planning that goes into this is absolutely surprising. Who would have known? I mean, so for those of you who are in high school right now and you just think there's not a place for you, not the case. You can now, you know, if you're not good at sports, you might be a can constructor, <laughs> you know, and it's for a good cause. So there you go. Amber, you got to put on your, your hard helmet. 
We gotta go build. Are you ready? Very, very true. And I, can I just point out something else? I love your shirt today. <laughs> I know this is a little off topic, but I do love it. It's very bright and fun, and it's very summery. It's like perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. This, this is your morning coffee right here. Well, just to I wake like it very you much. Up, to, to bring some sunshine into your day. So I hope I was successful. So are you gonna come back? Are you gonna go back to the school and actually see what they created? Yes, I'm hoping that I can actually go back from the 16th to the 20th and check out and see if they took it. I mean, they actually did really well at Nationals last year. They took a bunch of rewards, so they're actually a really talented school. And then, yeah, I'm excited to see what all these schools have to bring. To be honest, I had never even heard of this thing. I didn't even know you, you did know? this in high school. I didn't even know it because I'm thinking, oh, you take a few cans, you build something from it. No, 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 no. I mean, these kids are planning on being engineers. They're planning on being architects. And a lot of students I talked to, they said, this is our first year doing it, and I had no idea it was going to be this hard. <laughs> well, what do you think, Scott? Do well, you, are, are any of your kids interested in uh, being can construction <laughs> canners? I'm not so sure. I, I just snuck back in because, first of all, I'm with you. I love Claudette's top. I, I do too. I, I've been rocking the uh, that same exact color on my new running shoes, oh. the, and and everywhere I go, well, I get I get a lot of unsolicited commentary from people <laughs> We're not about miss you, huh? about my uh, my running shoes. So uh, it's a great story, though. It's funny because you said you know when you were in high school, you're like I was so selfish. I would never oh, have yeah, thought about doing so kind selfish. of stuff. Like, yeah, no, thank you. You're not going to take. And my I was time sitting in the booth back there. Oh.